Good morning, it's Pastor Bob Grenier from Calvary Chapel here in Visalia, California. The Bible has so much to say about the will of God, and that phrase, those words, that terminology, the will of God, really speaks of that which is pleasing to God. It's when the Lord is able to bring into our lives His will. That's a pleasing thing to Him. Now James addresses the subject of the will of God in James chapter 4, and he does so by mentioning a number of things. First of all, it's possible for us to hear about, know about, and learn about the will of God. Secondly, it's entirely possible for us to go about living our lives, making our plans without any connection to or reference to the will of God. And then thirdly, what we should be doing with respect to the will of God is submitting to it and recognizing that our plans are truly subject to the will of God. One of the other things about the will of God as it pertains to the brevity of our lives is that our lives are just a vapor. They appear for a little time and then vanishes away. Thus, it's so important to redeem the time and make the most of the opportunities that God gives us. And then finally, in James chapter 4, James encourages us to take the knowledge that we have about the will of God, that is, that it ought to be part of our lives, and to let it be part of our lives. So, today, may the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. May He give you grace and may he give you peace. Bye-bye.